So here we have two fragrances from the brand Unui Nomad. And of course, I've reviewed fragrances from this brand in the past, and I was interested in delving a little bit deeper into what they have to offer. The note breakdown for both of these fragrances sounded very, very appealing to me, and my impression was that one of them was going to be for the colder weather, one of them was going to be for the hotter weather. Of course, these are called Sugar Leather and Love at First Sight. I'm looking forward to giving you my thoughts on these fragrances, so make sure to stay tuned. Now before I begin today's episode and I give you my thoughts on these two fragrances from the brand Unui Namad, and I'll tell you what I think in terms of the notes, the performance, longevity, comparisons, all that good stuff. I do want to start things off by saying that if you're a fan of fragrance related content, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. It would mean so much to me. Hit the bell icon so you could be notified whenever I do upload future videos to the channel and I upload on a daily basis. And of course, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or if you took something of value from today's episode, it would really mean a lot to me. So here we have a fragrance that is a bit on the sweeter side of things. You have vanilla and cinnamon and caramel and a lot of really wonderful ingredients. And then you have a fragrance called Love at First Sight, which is lilac and passion fruit with a little bit of citrus as far as my nose can perceive. So of course, Love at First Sight sounds like a wonderful fragrance for the hotter weather. Sugar leather, of course, contains leather and a lot of other really nice sweet ingredients. This one is a little bit better for the colder weather, as if you couldn't already tell by the color of the liquid in the bottle is definitely on the darker side of things. In any case, I look forward to giving you my thoughts on both of these fragrances. Let's go ahead and start things off with a quick look at the presentation. So with that being said, let's go ahead and start things off with the first one, which is called Love at First Sight. Now, of course, with a name like that, this sounds like a very warm, endearing, heartfelt type of a composition. And I love this, this fragrance and the way that it opens up. It's so cooling and so smooth and the warmth is on account of the sentiments right love at first sight but in terms of like the passion food and the lilac it seems like a very ethereal fragrance but it has a very genial personality about it and the lilac is just so wonderful here and there is a nisi Miyake fragrance a drop de se i think it's called it looks like a raindrop almost like a like a bulgari aqua type of a bottle and that fragrance from what i'm remembering contains lilac and that's a really nice fragrance where very serene and tranquil and this fragrance gives me a very similar vibe you know with the passion fruit in the opening i was kind of under the impression initially that it might smell a little bit like erba pura by sospiro under the zerzhov umbrella of course but it doesn't smell anything like that this is not overly fruity it's not sweet in any way it doesn't have an overdose of vanilla or tonka bean in the dry down or anything like that this one is actually very much so on the floral side of things so you have to be a fan of lilac to really enjoy this fragrance and i feel like the lilac definitely comes across in how serene and calming it is and I really do enjoy that personality about it. This is a really wonderful fragrance for the hotter weather. Definitely gives off a bit of a casual vibe but if you're wearing a really nice dress, if you're a lady and you're wearing a nice dress, I think this one can be pulled off rather effortlessly. Of course we also have sugar leather and the first fragrance I thought to myself of was uh, Carolina Herrera CH for men. <laughs> That one kind of has like a sugar cane and leather combination. I was like, oh, this is going to be like the Carolina Herrera fragrance. But okay, so this one actually takes things in a much different direction. And this fragrance is going to be a love at first sniff for a lot of people. As soon as I sprayed it on, I was like, okay, what are we dealing with here? This is quite amazing. And after playing with it for a while and really giving it some deep meditative thought, I said, okay, I think I know what this one reminds me of. So this one actually reminds me of Angel Share by Killian Paris. It also has similarities to Ouajan by Parfum de Marly and Manhattan by Roger Parfum and of course the Eau de Toilette version. So this one does have, or the Eau de Parfum version, pardon me, yes, I'm actually looking at it here. Actually, it could be a little bit of both, I suppose. The Eau de Toilette was the original one with the glorious presentation and you know one out of a thousand and it's it, quite amazing this fragrance does actually give me that roja manhattan sort of awajan angel share kind of a vibe 
Uh, the caramel, the cinnamon, the vanilla, and of course you have that leather and the dry down, but the leather is not aggressive. The leather is actually kind of smooth. It has this elegant finish to it, but also kind of like mysterious, but very sensual at the same time. So it's somebody who's suave, mysterious, somebody who enjoys going out, night out on the town. That type of a DNA is what you can expect from this fragrance. Whereas Love at First, uh, I almost said sniff, right? Because we're dealing with fragrances. Love at First Sight is more of like a warm, genial endearing fragrance with a cooling sensation on account of the fruits the citrus the lilac it's a very sort of meditative scent this one is a, a darker scent great for the colder weather mysterious sensual the cinnamon is definitely in there the vanilla is quite warm the caramel is very dulcet and also gives off a nice bit of sweetness as well and the leather is not animalic or aggressive it has a certain smooth and mysterious quality about it which I really enjoy but the best comparisons that I can make for this one is Owage on Manhattan and Angel Share. If you haven't tried any of those fragrances, you definitely have to. So here we have two fragrances from Unuit Namad in today's double feature. Let's go ahead and finish things off with the overall assessment. So first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, I think they both have a certain level of uniqueness to them. I know with the first one, I compared it to uh, the Ese Miyake fragrance. It does smell quite different. This one doesn't have almond in it. And of course, the second one I compared to Wajan, Angel Share, and Manhattan by Roja Parfum. But of course, if you do a side-by-side -side with all of those fragrances, you'll notice that these two definitely do stand on their own two legs. They're not, you know, inspirations or anything like that. They do have their own redeeming factors that kind of set them apart from the other other fragrances that I mentioned just for the purposes of having frames of reference, right? So you can better understand what to expect from the smell of these fragrances. In terms of the longevity, both of them are quite wonderful. Now with sugar leather, you can expect about nine hours. With love at first sight, you can expect about seven hours. In terms of the projection, I feel like the projection for love at first sight was a little bit stronger beyond an arm's length for the first 45 minutes of application. For sugar leather, it was within an arm's length for about an hour. Love at first sight became an elbow length scent right around hour five as a matter of fact they both did and in terms of when becoming a skin scent like i said sugar leather performed a little bit better than love at first sight nine hours versus seven hours and these are just rough estimates of how it did on my skin in terms of the versatility i think they're both fairly versatile of course love at first sight is great for the hotter weather spring and summer and then sugar leather is fall and winter i think sugar leather is more of a formal scent love at first sight more of a casual scent sugar leather is more of a mask masculine leaning fragrance and love at first sight is I would say 70% feminine, 30% masculine. But again, these are just recommendations. Wear what you want, wear what makes you happy. And I think they would both appeal to somebody who's a little bit older and a little bit more experienced with dealing with niche fragrances because they're both kind of not experimental per se, but they're not your typical generic nondescript mall sense, if I can put it like that. Although I love my mall sense too, and I don't want to use that as a pejorative or anything like that. In terms of the presentation, I think the presentation for both of them is very nice. The names are really cool. Love at First Sight, I think, is a cooler name than Sugar Leather because especially with this one, you get so much caramel and vanilla. Sometimes it tends to overpower the leather. But in any case, both are really wonderful. My final verdict on this fragrance is, or fragrances, is, is if you're looking for something very soft, serene, with decent longevity, and you are a fan of the note of lilac, you have to smell. Love at First Sight smells very natural very smooth and very amicable and if you're a fan of something on the darker more mysterious side of things if you like your caramel your vanilla your cinnamon and if you like fragrances like Manhattan by Roja Parfum or Angel Share by Killian Paris you have to try sugar leather so there you have it ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for joining me today I hope you took something of value from today's video if you did please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it once again hit the bell and give this video a thumbs up love you guys we'll see you tomorrow bye